Welcome back. This is Metropole Business Center, the show that brings you up to speed on the news and views from the world of business. And as I said earlier on the show, every Thursday, we, we take a special look at the world of technology. And that's on now, now on this segment, we're shifting gears to our new segment, which is our gadget review segment on Metropole Business Center. And we'll be doing this every, every Thursday. I'll not be doing the review by myself. Joe Wanjara joins me now on Metropole Business Center. Welcome, Joe. Thank you so much for having me. Very well. So today we are reviewing a gadget that has been quite a talking point in the city. Yes. And that's the Oppo Re Reno4, which is a premium mid-range smartphone. So let's get right into it, Joe. Yes. What are the features that probably a consumer out there needs to know about this smartphone? Well, the Oppo Reno4, first of all, is a very solid device in terms of its build quality. It looks very premium. Um, you know, the back is all polished and all. Um, if you didn't know, you'd actually think it's actually around 90,000 Kenyan shillings. But it has launched for around um, 39 Kenyan shillings. 39,000, sorry. Mm -hmm. Which is actually a decent price for the features it has. It, um, it sports um, a 6.4 inch Full HD AMOLED display. Um, they decided to go for AMOLED and not LCD, which is actually something very nice. What's the distinction for, for those of us who are not tech? AMOLED, LED? Um, well, AMOLED will basically save your battery in terms of the technology on how um, it lights on to display stuff on your phone. So basically, AMOLED um, um, illuminates single pixels as opposed to LCD that will illuminate the entire screen. Oh. So um, if, you have, if you have a black screen, the whole of an LCD screen will be on, but um, an AMOLED screen will basically be off. It will turn itself off to, to portray black. So basically, it saves you a lot of energy if you're going to use it for a whole day of use. Mm -hmm. um, another feature of the Reno4 is um, its, you know, its camera department. Re um, Oppo is actually known to make one of the best cameras um, around. So for this device, they went for a 48 megapixel main sensor. They also have um, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, 2 megapixel micro, and a 2 megapixel um, depth sensor. So if you if you put that together on the back, you come out with um, a very premium setup for the camera. Mm -hmm. And it also has features like um, HDR, that's high, dam high dynamic range, meaning um, basically the color reproduction of your photos and videos will be accurate. It also has image stabiliz stabilization, sorry, both on the selfie camera and on you know the back camera setup. Right. Um, if you move on to its battery, it has a um, 4,015 uh, milliamp battery. Mm -hmm. That will take you over a day of use for an average user, which is actually very nice. They also added um, what I would say uh, fast charging at 30 watts. Basically, you can go from 0 to 50% in only 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. Other things are the usual suspects. We have um, USB Type-C, um, Bluetooth 5.1, mm -hmm. pretty much the latest technology in the market right now. All right. Yes. And the operating system? Um, on the operating system, um, they went with Android 10, which is still the current version of Android. It's, um, they've put their own um, skin on top. That's the Color OS 7.2. Um, Android is set to release Android 11. Sorry, Google is set to release Android 11 very soon. And uh, Oppo confirmed that they will also upgrade the phone to Android 11 once it's released. So in terms of software, you are getting the best in the market. And you know, uh, in terms of security, you're well assured that your phone is secure. Well, yeah, good. Um, people will always talk about memory. I'm one of those who wants to think about the storage space. Yeah. Um, how much storage space does the Oppo Reno4 pack? Um, the Oppo Reno4 comes with 128 GB onboard memory and 8 GB of RAM. Um, and it's actually one of the very few phones in 2020 that actually has an option for expandable, expandable memory. So if you feel like 128 GB is not enough, you have an option of slotting in an SD card of up to 256 GB. Another thing also I forgot to mention was the processor. It actually has um, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G, which is um, a mid-range sort of um, chipset, but still works very fine if you're looking to game mm -hmm. and also to just use, to, to convert your phone into a powerhouse, basically. 
Um, probably, let's see who are the direct competitors. Um, here's Oppo. Mm -hmm. Which other phone can I say, or would you say, mm -hmm. is comparable to this phone? To Oppo Reno 4, I would say the Samsung Galaxy A71. And we also have the iPhone SE 2020 that was released in April. Mm -hmm. um, um, I, would also, I would also think that um, the Xiaomi Mi Note 10 Lite is actually a direct competitor as well. All right, and yes. I, I, I also note even Huawei is also in that. Yes, space. especially with the um, the Nova Seven I, the mm -hmm. Huawei Nova Seven I. Mm -hmm. Um, it's actually they're going head to head. All right. Yeah, but I'll still lean towards um Oppo if you're looking for you know a feature packed phone. Very well. Yeah. Uh, fr from where you sit as an expert on matters to do with these gadgets, mm. um, it's thirty nine thousand for the Oppo Reno Four value for money. I actually think it is. It is. And it's not just Oppo. A lot of companies are actually realizing that customers actually want value for their money. Mm -hmm. If you look at Apple, for instance, um, in April, like I've just mentioned, they released their iPhone SE 2020 for around 33,000 Kenya shillings. That's actually very uncommon for Apple. And um, next week, on Thursday, they'll be having the Apple um, event. They'll be launching the Apple, the, the iPhone 12 series. Um, so here, usually they usually have three phones. Um, in this case, it, it's going to be the Apple iPhone 12, 12 Pro, and the 12 Pro Max. Mm -hmm. But this year, they're, they're releasing an extra phone called the iPhone 12 mini, which is also going to be basically a budget phone. So companies are realizing that you know customers want value for their money. Samsung has just released a toned down version of the Samsung Galaxy S20 called the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE, meaning um, fun edition. And so Oppo has also realized this. So you know they 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 made this phone, um, gave it all the premium features, but priced it um, you know you know um, affordably. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. in terms of value for money, I think they got it right. I'm very curious about the iPhones um, that you've just mentioned that are sort of meant for, um, I mean, not meant for the premium uh, target. Yes. Um, are we talking about the same price, that 9,000? Um, if you talk about the um, iPhone um, SE 2020 that they released in um, um, April, mm -hmm. um, the phone goes for around 33,000, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm which is actually very decent because it runs um, the Apple A12 Bionic chipset. That's the exact same chipset that you find on the iPhone 11 Pro and Pro Max. So they didn't, um, they didn't disappoint, in, they didn't tone it down so much. They just um, sacrificed a few things like the design, the build quality, mm -hmm. um, but they made sure that the most important things like the speed is up to, up to standard with you know Apple. Mm -hmm. So you're not really, you're not, they're not really sacrificing much. All right. Let's take a look at the cons around mm. this phone, uh, the Oppo Reno 4. Uh, what will you say are the downsides yeah. to it? Well, it's such a solid phone. Um, it's so hard to find, you know, <laughs> a blemish. Mm. But I think the only thing I would really want to mention is um, the refresh rate. Um, the refresh rate is at 60 hertz, mm. which is... What is refresh rate for some of those? <laughs> uh, refresh rate is, um, you know, how how much your screen is actually refreshing per second okay. yeah when you when you're scrolling through so the higher the refresh rate the smoother the phone feels and looks at the same time so phones in 2020 um, they are coming out with 90 hertz refresh rates 120 um, but reno with the uh, but oppo with the reno 4 they decided to go with the usual 60 hertz however they actually have another version of the reno 4 called the reno 4 pro 5g where they've added the refresh rate, they've increased it from 60 to, to, to 90, mm -hmm. which is actually good. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the only thing that um, they sacrificed for this phone, I think, to make the price mm -hmm. come down to, mm -hmm. to what it is. All right. Yeah. Uh, probably in closing, is there any mm -hmm. other thing that probably you, you see Oppo coming up with that probably we should be watching out? Well, Oppo is a very inventive company, but you know, just like any other company, they tend to put their technology under wraps until you know, they are confident that, you know, it's ready for the consumers. So, um, so far I haven't had any, you know, any rumors or any mm -hmm. tips of what they're coming up with, mm -hmm. but, you know, they're usually, they're usually out there, they're usually 
very innovative. Um, the other thing actually they've released uh, alongside the Reno 4 is their smartwatch, the Reno smartwatch, which actually runs um, um, Wear OS by, by Google. It's a very decent smartwatch, comes with everything you'd actually want from a smartwatch, including you know the heart rate sensor, um, sleep tracker, and everything. So they're doing great. Very well. Yeah. Thanks, Joe, for that very elaborate uh, review on the Oppo Reno 4. You're welcome. And indeed, I'm looking forward to more gadget reviews to just get our consumers, uh, get the consumers out there up to speed on what's coming to the market that they yes. can consider uh, as they upgrade. Yes. Very well. All right. Yes, that's my colleague, Joe Wanjara, who has, um, has been assisting me to basically go through uh, or, or take a gadget review of the Oppo Reno 4. And I'm sure you've been informed on whether that's a, the gadget that probably um, fit your budget and fit your preferences and tests. And indeed, next week we'll be looking at yet another device here on Metropole Business Center. My name is Stephen Kimani, and this has been the Metropole Business Center. And um, this is Metropole TV, Kenya's 24-hour business channel. Do enjoy the rest of your viewing here on Metropole TV. <laughs>